Are you gonna be annoyed if I do another challenge? Found myself oh, smiling more. The moment you leave, I feel down again. I talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone. I swear that I'm trying my best. You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend. I wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of home. Morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, and I'm just getting ready. Can you guess where I'm going? I went there last Tuesday. I'm going there this Tuesday. I'm going to the charity shop. I actually need to calm myself down because it's getting a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Me going to the charity shop every five minutes. But I just love it. I can't help it. I'm just waiting for my mum because I'm actually going with my mum. Um, I'm just trying to sort out the house a little bit before. It's a bit messy. But I just filmed a autumnal, autumnal morning routine. Which I think is going to be quite a good video to be honest with you. Because it's cute. It's realistic. Um... And that's about it. <coughs> about to sneeze, right? I'm gonna put the duster in there. Um, how is everyone this morning? Sorry about the light, and it's a very dark day today. I don't think it's meant to be, but it is. Oh, look. I, I did this little reading corner yesterday. Um, because I, when I was watching tv and the tv really distracts me when i'm reading like he was watching the boys which i don't even like kind of the most distracting thing ever so i sat on the floor and i put hugo's bed there and he now loves it so i'm just gonna put my shoes on wearing me fake uggs oh i am going to comic con on saturday so basically, Connor's mum got him Comic-Con tickets for his birthday. And it's this Saturday. So she's looking after Hugo, but we're actually going to stay at hers Friday night because she lives closer to London. And then we'll probably end up staying the Saturday night too, to be honest. Depends how late we get back. But, oh, my mum's here now. But I'll catch you up later. Hello. My mum has just left with my nephew. They came round for about an hour and a half. We watched a movie. It was cute. It was cuddly. Look how like straight my hair has gone because I went for a walk in the rain this morning. Are you going to be annoyed if I do another charity bookshop haul because obviously I just told you we went to the charity shop and what happens on a Tuesday in that charity shop? I do not know because the books that they have in there on a Tuesday are incredible. So I got this, I've seen on BookTok and I've seen in um, the works. So I thought I'd pick that one up. I'm just going to go through these quickly because I mean I do one of these videos a week at this point. I got The Roommate which sounded really good. I got The Essex Serpent. I've heard so many good things about this and I thought, why not try it? It's a pound. I might as well get it and this... It's the first time I've seen this in there. So I'm happy about that. How to Stop Time. I don't know. By, by Matt. Whoever that is. <laughs> I got Sally Thorne 99% Mine. I got... The Ex Next Door. That just sounds like a bit of me. I love an ex kind of thing. Because it normally turns into be like enemies to lovers you know kind of vibe because they're exes i got the switch by beth o'leary um because i've got the flat show i've got no show and i've got road trip and now i've got the switch so whoever keeps going in there on a monday to give their books away thank you because i'm getting a good little collection and i got the hunger games classic and i got lessons in chemistry but to top it all off i got and I don't know what order these go in, so don't come at me. These were all just sitting on the side and I was like, 
I am having all of those, thank you. Um, I'm not sure what order they go in, I'm not sure which ones I'm missing, but I mean, I think I did well considering. Absolute bargain. I'm surprised they had all these, but they're not, maybe someone went in and bought the other ones, I don't know. I might go on Monday next week, because maybe Monday is the day to go and not Tuesday. Let's try Monday. But yeah, I thought I'd show you my little books. I just wanted to give you a quick book update because you guys must get annoyed with all my books. Also, how long has my hair got? And like thick. I don't know what is going on. I'm just It's growing quick. Like it was here and now it's here. I mean, maybe it's like there. I don't know. It just feels a lot longer. Um, I'm going to go make a chilli. You can come with me actually. Let's go make a chilli con carne in the slow cooker. It is Wednesday and we are in the range. They've got all their Christmas stuff in so I thought I would vlog and show you what there is because there is so much and look how Christmassy. If you need to get in the Christmassy mood, go to the range because everything is out. That is super cute and so is that. That's only £2.99. So cute but yeah, hope you're all okay. Happy Wednesday and I thought I'd just bring you along because why not so enjoy this compilation of the range Christmas stuff
right, we just got back from the range. I didn't get anything Christmassy, so nothing to report on that front. But what I did get was another bamboo chopping board. This is gonna go over there. We're gonna do it together in a minute. But yeah, I got this bamboo chopping board. I think this was $8.99. So it's a bit more expensive than the other one, but it is bigger. So, um, I don't, did I show you that one in this haul? I think I did, but anyway, that's bigger. And then I got these two glasses. So I'm thinking hot chocolate powder in one and like marshmallows in the other when it gets to like Christmas time. But I don't know if I've shown you. So we went to Cash and, well, my brother went to the Cash and Carol and we got him to get us a Galaxy. Look how big this Galaxy is, big size of my head. But I also like Cadbury. Sometimes Galaxy is a bit too sickly. So I got a Cadbury's powder. This was like nearly four pounds. I don't know how much this was. This was a present. So yeah. Um, I thought we could organize my little section over there because why not, basically? Uh, but that is all I got. So I just thought these were really cute. This is going to look good with hot chocolate powder. Um, and it saves us keep going in and out of the covers all the time. So I'm going to fill that one up. Probably not with that. I'm probably going to fill it up with the Galaxy one. And then we're good to go. And then I need something to eat because I'm hungry. So let me set you up and we'll set out my little hot chocolate kettle station. <laughs> Found myself smiling more The moment you leave I feel down again I talk to myself on the floor Just to feel less alone I swear that I'm trying my best You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend Wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of hope So hold my hands out for a minute i let you know when to let go You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run in You never say a word even when it hurts Everywhere you go, everywhere you smile very wet outside. I'm a bit all over the place. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. May or may not be my second coffee today, but it's raining so it doesn't matter. When there's rain, there's no limit. I went for a cup of tea instead. If I look really pale, my camera settings are a bit all over the place i don't really know what's going on there and excuse my hair because i look like a weirdo but i am going to enjoy this i got a few bits for hugo um from amazon Huey, come here and he got this new collar look how cute he is look how cute you look with your new collar yeah he's a gorgeous boy it was 10 pounds um, but we basically had this other collar, which was like a clicky one. 
and every time we used it, it the clicker just used to break so not very safe i also got this dog walking bag which is wet because i just got back in and it comes with a free clicker and a free water bowl and then you can put like your poo bags in the bit at the back and i use it today so so good highly recommend and then also from amazon i've got this lead which basically has this which is the um the clasp is really thick and strong the lead is super super strong super sturdy and it has a small handle and then the long handle so basically as i'm walking hugo what i do is wrap this around my neck and only use the short handle when he's walking to heel and then use the long handle when he's on freedom and honestly game changer i'm absolutely in love with this i think it was about a tenner but it's really good if you're dog training and i also got this is from a company which i can't remember what it's called neon dog i got this dog in training it clips onto their lead and i also got one that says anxious dog because hugo is a bit anxious so um this is incredible because i feel like if anyone ever sees one of these they just you know they know to beware or like to give space and yeah i just wanted to share that with you because if you've got dogs that are like hugo a bit unsure then those are some really good tools that i've been using I used it for the first time today and honestly made the walk so much easier so I'm about to do some clicker training with Hugo because I've heard that clicker training is game changing just to have like an all round well behaved dog. Hugo is, um, if we're going to put a label on him, very anxious dog. Um, he's very anxious he's very unsure and he can sometimes be lead reactive he's never gone for a dog but sometimes he will lunge towards a dog uh especially like before i started training with him now he's not really lead reactive at all he still takes interest in a dog but he will listen to me over worrying about what that dog's doing so i learned all my tricks off tiktok and it's been life-changing like if you've got a reactive dog or a dog that's not particularly well behaved or listens to you you know how frustrating a walk can be sometimes and i'm not someone who will let my dog off lead on a walk if he doesn't listen to me and i hate sorry if you do this but i really really despise people who do that because if you've got a dog that's anxious and doesn't like other dogs in his space and you have a dog running at you with no recall and no control the owner has no control over it it's the most frustrating thing ever um, so I've never been someone to do that so we've been really working on Hugo's behaviour outside but he's done so well I'm so proud of him so I'm going to do a bit of clicker training with him now I'm then going to carry on reading a book I'm reading In My Knife I Hold In My Knife In My Dreams I Hold a Knife I think I'm about halfway through and I started it last night incredible I'm honestly already at unless it goes downhill from now it's going to be a five star from me because i'm hooked and i can't wait to carry on reading it so that's what i'm going to go do i'll catch you up a bit late oh actually what are we going to have for dinner i think we're going to have sausage i think we're going to have bangers and mash for dinner tonight actually it's a bangers and mash kind of dinner um so maybe i'll catch you a bit later when we're doing that hello everyone it is friday i'm just gonna do a little sniffle treat thing for hugo because i am rushed today i feel very rushed basically i've been at my mum's all morning which maybe was my own fault i could have left earlier um but tonight we're actually staying at connor's mum's because we're going to comic-con tomorrow and she lives closer to london and she's got the dog for us so we're going to stay there the night just so we don't have to rush and get up and you know be in a hurry for the morning but i feel like i'm so um unprepared like i haven't packed i haven't really done anything and i think connor wants to pretty much go as soon as he's come home and had a shower sorry about the lighting um so oh, i just feel a bit all over the place 
and yeah I was just filming a load of TikToks for my BookTok account because I wanted there to be content and then I realised I haven't filmed any content for YouTube which is awful because this is my main priority but I haven't done anything this week. I am thinking of bringing you to Comic Con tomorrow but I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film because um, Connor's friends, like one of Connor's best friends is coming with us and I don't know how awkward I'm going to feel with, um, I feel like I'm going to feel really awkward vlogging or um, filming and how many of you are really interested in Comic Con because I'm not really, I'm just going because um, Connor's mum got tickets for his birthday and she got two tickets so I mean I'm... I guess I'm kind of excited but I'm not like ra raring to go you know so I need to get packing so I thought we can do that together because I have no idea what I'm packing and I need to get a move on so let's go upstairs and let's get packing basically you can help me okie dokie what's the time we've got about 20 minutes before I've got to go get Connor so this is the dilemma I don't know what I'm gonna wear um, I'm going to take these pyjamas from Primark which I showed in last week's vlog because they're so comfy and they've just been washed so they're all fresh. So my first outfit choice is basically what I'm wearing now which is just comfy vibes you know because who wants to be walking around London not comfy or I thought whoop, instead of this massive um zip up i could wear this like little cropped green one because i don't want to take a massive jacket because it's going to be hot so i just thought that was quite cute with a jacket over the top i don't know so i'm taking this as well i'm basically taking my whole wardrobe but you know that is what i do so i'm going to put that in there um put this back on i've washed my hair I had a shower, wash my hair, so that's all done. I'm gonna take jeans because I'm thinking maybe this jeans, I don't know. And then if I really want to join in with the geekiness, I thought I'd take my Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt from Primark and wear it with cycling shorts because I'm going to Comic-Con and it's like full of geeks, so. And then the last option is this play suit with this oversized jumper so i'm not sure i'm packing all of them i'm also packing my hair straighteners and my rollers because i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair yet but as you all know i only really do anything with my hair once a week so i thought best to take my straighteners i'm just gonna get some heat protector and let's just take that. No, I'm just gonna take this VO5 heat protectant spray as well. And then I already kind of packed my makeup. It's basically the makeup that I use today. I've packed, but it's kind of just doesn't fit. So it's a bit of an issue. How is everyone? I'm gonna say some things I'm grateful for because I feel like I need to. You know, sometimes when you haven't done it in a while. And you just want to feel a bit more grateful. So, the first thing I'm grateful for is the fact that Connor and I get to do fun things together. And we have the same interests and hobbies. And we just love doing things together that are different. I really appreciate that. Because I know sometimes in relationships it's hard if you just don't have the same hobbies and stuff. But luckily, Connor and I do so i'm really grateful that we have the same interests and stuff and we can do things together and enjoy just being around each other because i know again some couples just don't but we do so that's great i don't know what to take i'm gonna take my small perfume which is downstairs i'm also gonna take my mirror and this hairbrush which my mum got me um, it's my favourite hairbrush. It makes your hair like really shiny. It's cute. And I think I'm going to take this comb. I only need one comb, so I'm just going to take this like cropped one. 
I'm just going to put it in the car. I just, I don't like things like this. I just get a bit overwhelmed. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going to put some earrings in now. So I don't have to think about bringing them. So if I just shove them in now, I don't have to remember, oh, I need earrings because I've got them in my ears. These ones are from Primark which I mean pretty much all of my earrings come from Primark because it's so affordable um, excuse my skin by the way, I've had like a little outbreak on my cheek my breath I'm going to pick Connor up and then I'm going to quickly take Hugo over the field to have a run around okay there we go um, a necklace, I'm going to take this necklace I think that's the sensible. I'm going to just take my Kindle, I think. Oh, I don't know. Thing is, if I take a book, it could get ruined in my bag. And I really don't want that to happen because that makes me sad. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what is going on with this necklace. It's all tangled up. Oh, don't you shake that. I just feel a bit stressed. But I don't know why, because everything's fine. You know? You know when you just feel a bit anxious? I think it's because no one we're going to Comic Con and there's going to be so many people and I don't do well with a lot of people. My anxiety is very much social. Um, but as long as I don't have to talk to anyone, that's fine. I just get really bad social anxiety. Um, so I think that's why I'm feeling a bit more stressed and stuff. But everything will be okay. I just need to chill and enjoy it because... That's why we're going. Um, anyway, this is my little necklace. Just has a C on it. And that's all the jewellery I'm going to take. Oh, actually, I'm going to take these as well. Some beads. Just these, like, um, you can't even see. I don't know what they're called. And then this one, which has just got, like, some Chinese writing on it. I have no idea what it says. For skincare... I'm thinking this because there's not a lot left. We're leader for the night, my SVF, and then Charlotte Tilbury for the day. And then I think I've got some travel stuff from LMS. Yeah. So I've got the nourishing cleansing oil, which I'm going to take for my first cleanse. And then I have, what else do I have in here? Is that it? That is literally it. Okay, maybe I should take, I've got this little toner, hmm. I'm going to take this little toner instead, this is the Pixie Vitamin C toner, sorry you can't see that, just because it's smaller, and I've also got this travel size, yeah, okay, and then I'm going to take my tiny magic cream because it's travel size, and I've already opened it, um, do I take a face mask? I don't know. I might take this little one. So this is an intense drink up overnight face mask by Origins. I'm going to get a little bag for them and put them in because I don't have a little bag up here. And then I need to get a cleanser. Oh, this is the cleanser I'm going to take. The T-Zone Niacinamide and Chica. Chia? Chisa? I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to get a little bag, put them all in there. I think that's all I need to take. I don't need to take anything else, do I? I don't think so. Yeah, I just wanted to catch up while I pack my bags, but if this vlog is absolutely awful and I have no content, I'm so sorry. I think the only thing I've really filmed was going to the range and they had all their Christmas stuff in. So, I mean, at least I've done one thing. I mean, I'm hoping next week is going to be a lot a lot damn better so sorry if this week is very shocking and awful and boring and not very cozy vibes which i like to give off most of the time i promise next week i will try and be better slap on the wrist for being rubbish this week but i just wanted to give you a heads up in case i don't have time to talk to you the rest of the week so if i'm absent-minded or this vlog is late i'm so sorry